Soccer Center in Tallahassee, where Florida State has won 23 in a row. Ron Groover, one of the officials with John Gaffney and Jeffrey Anderson. Excellent extra pass leads to an open three in the first bucket of the game for Trey Murphy. Top of the telecast, terrific three-point shooter, 49% for the year. Yeah, that's his 40th three, Sean. That's eighth in the ACC. I think he might be able to play tonight. He did not play Saturday in their overtime home win against Wake Forest. Sam Hauser, what a year he's having. Did so much for not only the game and for his players, but for coaches. A strong move by Raekwon Gray, who's announced today he was the player of the week. Anthony Polite, in this four games with a shoulder injury, returned Saturday. There's a three for Raekwon Gray. And that basket allows Florida State to put full court pressure on. That means they don't have to guard as long in the half court. And they run out and get the dunk, Malik Osborne. Fadeaway wouldn't go for the freshman Beekman. And a bucket for Scotty Barnes. Transfer from Ryerson University in Canada. Foul and a chance for a three-point play. Well, Anthony Polite shooting over 50% from three, just coming off this little screen by Tenor and Gom. Oh, Murphy denied at the rim. You. And that's why you want to chase this Virginia team off the three-point line. You don't want to give Trey Murphy an open shot. Look what he had to do just to try to get a two. Becoming more and more of a factor in his first year at Florida State as a junior college transfer. A couple of misses by Barnes and then it gone. And uh, had, a, had a great opportunity. He had just started playing organized basketball. Roll the ten side rattles home a three for UVA. Polite, like roll the ten side, lost his focus there for a minute. And Leonard Hamilton was telling us last night that yeah, he's never played point guard before. Great pass. And Balsha Kopravica is in the lineup now. Shedrick, he's a lot like Jay Huff was as, as a freshman. And it took him a while to develop, and he's become one of the best players in the country. He's going to play a long time in the NBA. Florida State has led by at least 10 now in nine of their 10 ACC games at one time or another. That's a three. Authoritative with those drives to the bucket, couldn't finish that time. 1,062. There's Walker again rattling home a three. Miles are on the bench right now. We're in the 10 side. He's a streaky player. Seems to either score in double digits or not at all. And he had it batted away, and I think Tony Bennett thought he was fouled. He comes down to holler Ron Gruber. And there's another three for MJ Walker. Trying to win its 24th home game in a row. Extend the second longest home winning streak in ACC history. He had 14 points at Clemson on January 16th. Did not score in any of the previous four. And there's another three. This one for Osborne. So Anthony throws in 14 against Clemson. Virginia just off its game at both ends of the floor. The turnovers a factor. And there's Murphy with the dunk. In transition, maybe that'll get the Wahoos going. Played junior college ball in Iowa at Indian Hills before he came to UVA. Second and final year for him in Charlottesville. Kihei Clark flips it up, and it's a dunk for Jay Huff. Established rhythm on the defensive end. And by doing a much better job defensively, they gave themselves an opportunity to run some decent offense on the other end. State coming off this pause, like Michigan came off the pause yesterday. Does it blow you away they can come off a pause and play at this level? Till the Jeep halftime report. Murphy banks at home. He's a transfer from Rice. Florida State also has a transfer from Rice and Malik Osborne. They didn't play together there, but... They did spend some time together on the recruiting visit. McCoy, that's a three. 
which would be two behind the all-time record held by Duke. Kehei Clark trying to get Virginia started on the comeback trail. Hits the floater. Man on the floor. 5-9. He drives to the bucket. A couple of scores for Clark and a nice start. Evans, Gray, Osborne, Walker, and Wilkes on the court right now for Florida State. MJ Walker, another three. He's four for four from beyond the arc. Great, great year. Hauser, can they get him going? That might be a start. A three for Sam Hauser. Chris Bateman, the rebound. Freshman from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He has Clark again to the goal, and this time he's fouled by Malik Osborne. Reminds you a little bit of the performance he put on at Georgia Tech, where he had 14 points, all of them in the second half, and wound up making the game. Got away with that, and winds up with Murphy, and he buries a three. He's tied with Clark now for game-high honors. Nobody for Florida State in double digits yet. Feels like a big possession for the Knowles, and they get a three. Difficult pass, but Barnes made it with that length and feel that he has. I mentioned it earlier. Here's Kihei Clark on fire, makes one from the elbow. They think his future in the NBA would be as a point guard. He's done a very nice job. More than two uh, assists for every turnover. And he powered his way to the bucket. Strong move to the bucket. 6'8", 260 is Raekwon Gray. There for Virginia on the offensive glass. And was pulled down by Raekwon Gray. Calhoun, another three. That's what their resume warrants right now. You know, he has six ACC teams in the field. Barnes in transition, a three. Virginia got within seven after the round by 23 in the first half. Kihei Clark's pass deflected by Barnes and taken away by Gray. The score here, they can have the same lead they had at the half. Plus one. MJ Walker has 15 points. Yeah, they were top 10 back then when they won in Cameron Indoor Stadium, but you know, for a variety of reasons, this has been a really brutal and difficult year for Michigan State. And they've taken Jay Huff completely out of this one. I mean, Huff has been on the offensive end a non-factor. These two points, it was on alley oop dunk, and there's a three. Amazing how quickly it went from a route to Virginia made a game of it to a route again. Seven and a half to go in Tallahassee. Well, the Tensai makes a three. It's interesting, Jake, is, I talked with Paul Brazo from the ACC, does a great job helping to run the uh, basketball operation. It's obvious, of course, due to COVID. And, you know, he just made the point, it's very hard to make up games uh, with as many as they're already playing. There's a bucket for Hauser. Where they're going to try to make up some. And in both instances, it was a tall positive test that triggered the stoppage. There's another dunk for Huff off the feed by Clark. It's going to be the place for you. Well, heck, he, you know, he had Patrick Williams last year uh, in the last, I think, four years. And, you know, they, they develop at Florida State, as they do at, at Virginia. But it's a it's sort of a different, different type of recruiting. He makes a three. Leadership roles, whether it's Justin, Justin Lindner or Harrison Prieto, they've done such a great job with this team. There's a three. This is Justin Lindner, who Jay just mentioned. 15, Quincy Ballard. Number 20 is Travis Light. Four consecutive conference home wins. 76-4 and four overall in their last 80 at the Tucker Center.